Hey guys, welcome back to Makeup Bunnacle TV, the place to be for beauty inspiration and education. So it is a snow day here in New York, and that means no work, very exciting news. So I walked myself over to Walgreens, and I got myself some cool products to play with for today, so I decided to share. Um, so I did decide to do like a mini beauty haul, and also show you a look, um, how to do a really cool smoky eye with some of the stuff that I bought. So I'm going to get started, so I used uh, Maybelline's, I bought Maybelline's Fit Me. And, you know, I was really surprised actually because I really liked it a lot for um, store-bought stuff. I usually really use like mostly MAC and stuff like that. But uh, what I liked about it was it's, um, it's like a jelly kind of, uh, like water, not jelly, water-based um, concealer, not too creamy. And what I liked about that was um, it doesn't look cakey, it stays on, it dries immediately, it's very matte, it's perfect kind of like HD-ish. Um, and probably guessing it's going to last all night because it really dried fast, which I like. Um, also, it doesn't sit in those skin, make, you, make me look older. It uh, doesn't make me look like I'm wearing too much makeup. So I really, really like that product. Next, I also bought the Fit Me Foundation. And um, I have it on. You see. This side has no makeup. This side has it, you know. Um, and it's really nice. It's, it's very, very, very smooth. Uh, almost looks airbrushed. And, um, it's pretty cool because, you know, it doesn't feel very heavy, it doesn't feel too cakey. Um, maybe next time I might add a little bit of moisturizer to it to kind of make it into like a BB cream because I don't really like to wear heavy foundation ever, even in events. Um, so I also got this really cool white pencil from Jordana Cosmetics. And what I liked about this, um, was it, um really good white pencil um, actually kind of give MAC a run for its money so cool stuff I also bought these Andrea eyelashes in the beginning I was when I put them on I love the way they look natural um, in the beginning it was kind of poking me in the eye but now it's pretty feeling pretty comfortable so not too bad not too bad go on pretty nice they really they you can really like maneuver them easy which is cool sometimes you have to like push them so that they softens up, if you know what I'm talking about. Um, so next I got this Wet n Wild uh, Glitter a Pot. And I was really very pleasantly surprised with it because usually whenever I use glitter and I usually do this like Makeup Forever's glitter because it's the most glittery glitter out there. Um, and I usually have to use like an eyelash glue to like keep it on all night. And what this, what's cool about this stuff is that it is um, sticky. So when I put it on, it stays really well without having to, it's very easy, you know, there's no mess, it doesn't go underneath. Maybe, maybe because I wet my finger before too, and maybe that made it sticky, but anyway, maybe it was a good mistake because it worked. So um, those are the products that I got today, so let's get started on what I'm going to do with them. First starting off with any uh, soft black liner, I'm lining my eye with the liner instead of shadow because this makes it easier for later on when I want to make those lines perfect with the black. It's just a little bit easier with the uh, liner to do that. Next I'm going to be coloring the full lid in with it as well with the pencil and the reason why I'm doing this is because it will make the black look even blacker and it will also keep the look the eye matte so that when the shadow goes on it has something really nice to grab onto and it will last all night. Next I'm going to, and then I'm going over with the other side just to blend it out a little bit so it doesn't look as harsh of lines. Next using Carbon from MAC which is just a black and you can use any black and just a skinny little brush I'm applying the black and the reason why I'm using this skinny little brush is so that it deposits more color so that the, like, the color is blacker since it is hard to get it to be really really nice and black. Now using the MAC 224 brush I'm using, it's a nice fluffy brush, I'm using handwritten which is a nice soft brown and I'm going into the crease with it starting to create the dimension of the look. I'm using the brown because it'll give it a really soft, dramatic, uh, beautiful, sultry look which we all really want. 
Now I just go over the whole eye with it because I'm going to be going over with black again anyway. Um, so you don't have to be worried so much about going over what you already did with the black. So now as you see I took more handwritten and a little bit mixed with black with my same little brush. And I'm going into the corner at the edges just to help to soften it because it's hard to really blend out. So then blending it with 224 just again to make sure that it is really nice and blended. Now taking a smaller blending brush I'm using rice paper on the brow bone. Then I'm going in with the white pencil from earlier on the waterline. Now taking any soft brown liner I'm going to be lining underneath um, with the like outside of the waterline so you know you might want to sharpen your pencil to make sure it's nice and sharp so your lines are clean and straight. Now if you mess up don't worry you can always fix it like as you see I just messed up and I take my finger and just take the color away. It's easy when you're using a soft pencil to um, correct mistakes. Now taking the Fit Me concealer from earlier, I'm putting it under my eye and on my eyebrow. And the reason why I'm doing on my eyebrow is so that when I put the, when I fill in my eyebrow, it makes it look a lot smoother and um, just gives like a, that very perfect eyebrow shape. Now taking that Fit Me foundation, just going over with a small brush and I like to use a small brush because I find it easier for blending. Everybody has their own opinion, whatever works for you. Now if you want to see more about my brows and how I fill them, check about my All About Brows video. Um, you'll really enjoy that video for how to perfectly fill in your eyebrows. Now taking that glitter I purchased from earlier, which is from Wet n Wild, I wet my fingers so that it will make it sticky and tacky so that it will stick to my eyelid a little bit better. I'm just going over the black and on the lid Next, using my lashes, I'm applying with some glue, and if I get the glue all over my eye, just in case, I just wipe it away with my finger nice and easy, or a Q-tip, as you can see how I'm doing.